watch I watch campus. Our campus, a your campus. If you're not watch it, you're zero. Some say straight and the key shot. Kevin Downsell, I watch campus. Love. This is a girl, Alina. You don't know it's all about I watch campus. I I watch. That's the fire there. Jack your sister. Watch campus is a girl bad girl to steal. I'm really dead. I watch campus. The girl Nikisha Bond. Better make sure you're yeah, I watch. You're watching I watch campus. Welcome to iWatch Campus, where your camp is our campus. Today we have a special guest on iWatch Campus. She is amiable. She is effervescent. It's Nikisha Barnes. She will sing you into a frenzy. She will sing you into a good relationship. Nikisha Barnes right here at UTech on iWatch Campus. Nikisha Barnes, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, iWatch Campus. Locked in. Hi, you look good. Tell us what is going on. Ray Putus, thank you so much. Um, a lot's going on. We are in production now for my second EP to be released in August of this year. Only for work that. It means I have to write song, it means I have to study all the while, it means I have to run live musicians, it means I have to be up on my game. Um, thinking of touring Africa in the autumn, you call it, right? Autumn season, hoping to spread the music a little bit further than just Jamaica and the Caribbean. All right, so your son is doing G-Sat today? Yes, I'm going to the class with him pencil. And the I run me out. <laughs> Today was a very nerve-wracking day for me. Um, it's like I was doing the exams. I swear to you, it's like I, I wanted to sit down with him and say, "No, the wrong answer, that chocolate one, the sugar one, there." But I had to leave, and then the whole day, my brain was—I I couldn't do anything. I had to be waiting just to get the call that it's finished. I need to come and hear him. So as I reached, I was like, "How it go?" She just said, "I'm um, stressed him out." So I'm, I'm relaxing now. So what do you think he might do? I think he's an awesome kid. I mean, he keeps me so humble. When I'm studying with him and he remembers everything, I'm like, whoa. I remember doing common entrance and I never have to know so much things. I remember everything. I think you pass already. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the music. Nikki Shaban, tell us from the last EP that you did, um, which songs stood out? The songs on the EP that stood out and got a lot of buzz, it's one called I Cry, No, No, No. Um, pretty intense song for me. That comes from a place where I literally was like, you know what, love, give me five minutes to just chill. Give me five minutes to just collect myself. Um, I, I need to regroup. I need to come full circle. So that was the one that everybody's like, yeah. And then the other one was Bloody Street because a lot of people never expected such a song from it. It's, it's like a conscious song, but it's also very me because I tend to see things all around me and then comment on it. So those two were songs that people literally were very, very excited about. I tell persons who are not cognizant of your genre of music, what do you do? I do what is called reggae soul music. Um, it's reggae, meaning there will be that swing, that one drop energy, that sexy groove. But at the same time, I'm very soulful and I can't deny it. I have to put it in my music. I write from that standpoint. So I'm dubbing it reggae soul and I'm going at it with full energy because it's such a beautiful way to speak to people, my music, and hopefully it will get that buzz that puts me at the Grammy level. Right, I, I like it. Tell us Nikisha Barnes, the new EP coming out, um, what should we look out for? What should your fans look out for? Oh my God, um, we are now going to be, we, it's very live, it's acoustic, I'm recording while the band is playing. So it's, it's very, it's, it's like that live album that I think Jamaican music has been lacking for so long. I mean, wonderful people like Chronics have come back with that reggae sensibility. But I want to give people something like you are there with me. You are at the edge of the stage as I'm singing that note or you're allowed to hear that drum touch your body and that bass caress you. I want to give people that chance to just feel that live vibe that I feel when I'm around the musician. And to also give the musicians their energy, let them play music the way it's supposed to be played, like how Bob did it, Peter Tosh, Burning Spear. I want to go back there because it's such a big music for the world to hear. You are talking to us about how impactful you want your music to be and you see what is happening here in our society today in terms of the deteriorating um, or the deterioration of the music itself. Um, what do you have to say about it? What will you do about it? I don't think our music is deteriorating, so I'm not in agreement with that part. I think music evolves, and I think we as Caribbean people, we are very much a set of people that take from wholly for different cultures and then form it, in, form it into our own. We're not a set of people that stick to one thing for years and years and years. We're always reinventing ourselves. That's why we're Caribbean. We're surrounded by so many different cultures that it's, 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 it's kind of like a part of our growth. 
that we actually take and then make it a part of our sensibility. So I think our music, it never deteriorates. If anything, it evolves. And evolution can't be nothing bad. Yeah. All right, so in terms of the, the, the music video that was put out by a certain artist, you, you don't think that had any um, negative impact on our music? I think when people as artists want to speak their truth, it's hard for another artist to comment or be negative about the truth that that person is speaking. If I see somebody killed and I want to be very, very guttural and speak on what I've seen, then it's very hard for somebody else to critique what I've experienced because my art comes from a bit of my reality, not a bit, but comes from my reality. And if that is the truth of that artist, then far be it from me to judge and comment that's the person's truth and he's speaking his truth. What I need to do is speak my truth and let my truth either become the popular truth or his truth will become the thing that everybody gravitates to. So you're saying to us basically it's from one's own experience and how they uh, basically put it forward to the, the audience. It is. I mean, music is not supposed to be bottled in. For me, it can't be. If you start to censor music and bottle how people express themselves, then you'll never get the truth of the music. Music is truth. So whatever it is, good, bad, indifferent, or ugly, whatever the society feels like they should say about music, you're going to have people doing whatever they want to do. It's for us as people to say, okay, I have a 12-year-old son, I have an 11-year-old daughter, I don't want her to see that yet. She's not at that age where this material is appropriate for her. So I need to ensure she doesn't experience that, that, that material. So what can I do as a parent now to ensure that my child experiences things that are appropriate for my child? But you can't censor that artist for speaking his truth. You have to now become very, very technical with your children. All right. All right. Here you have it on iWatch Campus, Nikisha Barnes giving tips. She's versatile in every area. Nikisha Barnes, tell us, uh, what, what out of your collection of music, which song stands out the most for you? I wrote a song long ago for, I was in a relationship, my son's dad. And when I started to earn my own money, and this is where gender comes in and people don't understand why I, why I think this way. Um, he became very insecure. All along in the relationship, he was earning far more than I was, and I was comfortable. I wasn't nitpicking or finding anything wrong with his lifestyle. The minute I started to earn and started to do things for me, it became a problem. It became an issue where it couldn't be me who's doing it. It has to be a man who's doing these things for me. And so I wrote a song called In Love, Sha La 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 La, basically saying to him... I know that song. <laughs> basically saying to him, don't doubt yourself or don't become insecure in what we have because what we have is genuine the minute you become insecure is the minute you're pushing me away the minute you're forcing me to be somebody i'm not so the song was something that always stood out for me because it became the, it became like an anthem to me to say if you're in love then you can't be critical of the love if you're insecure you need to work on self it's not the love that's the problem itself yeah. so very deep I, I i know you want to hear that song i know you want to hear or perform that song and and do something for 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 us what do you say all right nikisha Barnes, give us a piece of that song. once upon a time in love we were best friends anything that you wanted well i'm your genie i would grant it you asked me to give my heart how could you ask this when it was always yours now father take king and god has blessed this love and can nobody replace it and so i sing i sing my song for you baby i'm sha la 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 in love i'm with my baby i'm sha la 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 in love he makes me happy wow wow <laughs> wow beautiful nikisha bands right here on i watch campus nikisha bands uh tell the audience the i watch campus what you want to tell them, persons who are looking out for Nikisha Bands, persons who can't find Nikisha Bands and want to find Nikisha Bands because of these music that, <laughs> you know, are this music that you are producing. My, um, you can find me, I'm not very, very technical when it comes to all the social media, I'm very sorry. I just got an Instagram, it's Nikisha B. It's N-I-C-K-E-I-S-H-I-A, my mother did love vowel. So it's Nikisha B, same thing at Twitter, it's Nikisha B. On Facebook, I'm Nikisha I'm hyphen Barnes. My personal page is Nikisha Barnes. Um, I'm everywhere. YouTube is Nikisha B. If you still do old school like me, MySpace, I'm Nikisha Barnes. Um, just look for me. 
My music is available on iTunes. My first EP is called Wounded in Love. And I have a mixtape out that's on Blogspot. It's called Nikisha B. Um, Layers of My Soul. They never put me upon them things, so I'm going to create my own thing. So it's called Layers of My Soul, Reloaded, Wounded in Love. All right. And for the events that you're going to perform, anywhere you're going to perform that persons can look out for you? Right now, we are not very much in the commercial stage shows as yet. But I'm, I'm going to be um, on Sunday at Hope Gardens. I think that's when. March to something. I'm at Hope Gardens early in the morning with a set of people who they're doing this um, charity run. I'm performing there at 8 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I'm, I'm going to be in Africa over the autumn season as well as Europe. Um, this summer, some fest um, and several other small festivals, but they're mostly like corporate shows. But I'm working. I'm working real hard. Sounds good. I feel so to thank God. <laughs> All right, there you have it on iWatch Campus, Nikisha Barnes. She tell you where you can find her. She tell you the type of music that she produce. So if you're having a stage show, Nikisha Barnes is the girl that you want on your show. You're watching iWatch Campus, where your camp is our campus. I'm Darren Smith. Ah, with my baby.